づいている不死身だからとはいえ Boy Ron, we are back with another debunking and Rocky for gods. Y'all know, y'all know how we, you not, y'all know how we was coming. Y'all know how we coming. The first two, I loved them. Um, it showed me a lot. They weren't really that long, but um, for what it was worth, I learned, I learned, I learned a lot. This one is 22 minutes though. What the fuck? This is, this is definitely that. This is definitely as long as the whole episode. This, this might as well be part four right here. This might as well. But um. Yeah, we'll just get on into it. Um, shit, for 22 minutes, they gotta show me. They gotta show me a million things that I don't know. So I want, I want this to shock me. I want this to shock the hell out of me. That's that's all I want. Um, as I said before in the post, right after this. Um, hopefully when I do upload this, you guys will get them at the same time. But as far as I see it, it'll be this, and then straight on to part four. So. Yeah, man, I hope you guys keep rocking with me. I hope I didn't take too long. It's only been a week, I think, maybe a week and a half. So, yeah. 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 So, if you guys enjoyed your reaction today, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials, join me in Discord, and turn the post notifications bell. Deep Buck and Arky forgot. Let's go. This is what we've really been waiting for. Mm -hmm. It's not only the most well-known JoJo part, it's also the one with the most misinformation surrounding it. So it's so good. Video, I'll be covering almost everything people claim Araki forgot in part three. Okay. The first one is also the biggest. Dio's coffin. <laughs> first episode. One of the easiest to disprove. In part one, Arena and the infant Lisa Lisa used the okay. to escape from the exploding ship. Okay, they did. Dio is found underwater a hundred years later in the coffin. I have seen in the same coffin, right? Yeah. Think that there must have been a second coffin and that it's no, I think there was only one coffin, right? But me, since there was no I'm confused. Coffin. The manga and anime both show a secret compartment in the coffin where Dio hid. That a secret compartment. Exploded. At the end of part one, Arena is seen what? in the red-lined portion of the coffin. Right. In part three, we can see that portion is removable and there is space underneath. The amount of people that do not even know about this is staggering. So I'd like Shit. To make sure that as many people as possible. I didn't think of that because I, you know, I always wondered how Dio even showed up in that same fucking coffin. That's crazy. Just in case it is opened in direct sunlight. However, even after knowing, there are still some people that will try to argue about how Dio managed to get inside. Mm. Some explanations have been given in a couple of different JoJo novels, but those are non-canon, so I will not be using those. Really, fair, fair. It's as simple as he took Jonathan's body and just walked over and got inside. Nah, it can't be that simple. about details, so I'll go over those. Some people have asked how Dio got inside the compartment when Arena was already there. Right. She didn't notice. Okay. Considering that it's a secret compartment, there's probably a secretive way to open it. Mm. Customized a coffin that can shoot out a crystal from the inside. Mm. Of I'm sure that he would have had a way to open the coffin. So Dio customized that coffin himself. From the lid itself or through a interesting. As Very interesting. Dio wouldn't notice the movement of the coffin. I think the swaying of the boat, along with explosions and falling debris, would account for that. Okay. Asked how okay. Left the okay. You can't. You can't really disagree with that. Yep. I say it's reasonable to suggest that in a time period with no electricity, Arena is most likely to have been rescued during the daytime, during which Dio would not be able to go outside of the coffin. There was no reason that okay. Arena would take the coffin with her. True. So it eventually sank to the seabed where it was found a hundred years later. This time, Listen, man, this guy is knowledgeable as fuck. So Dio was able to escape. Another common topic is how Jotaro got all of the objects in his cell. While keeping himself mm. in the Star Platinum acted subconsciously and brought Jotaro objects. Some people point out the Star Platinum is a short range power type stand. Right. He shouldn't be able to go very far to gather these objects. 
I'd like to point out that a stand's effective range is not necessarily equal to its actual range. Okay. Range stands generally decrease in power as they get farther from their user, but mm -hmm. it's not out of the question that Star Platinum would have been able to gather objects from in and possibly around. I mean, as I feel like that's very true because you remember that one um that one stand um the hail to you stand the genie stand he was he was moving. Mm -hmm. Star Platinum loses power while Jotaro is being suffocated by the Red Bind. Later right. on in the Dark Blue Moon fight, which takes place largely underwater, mm -hmm. it seems to have no effect on stands. Mm. So see this as a holdover from early concepts mm, okay. game, which in Japanese can be read as ghostly ripple. However, on the next page, Joseph still says that stands are created by life energy, which is how they are generally thought of in later parts. Okay. Stands are tied to your consciousness, and losing consciousness would make your stand weaken. Right. Jotaro was in his first stand battle and was being strangled. Mm -hmm. In the Dark Blue Moon fight, Jotaro is prepared and is holding his breath for no more than two minutes. Right. Some people ask how Joseph can look as old as he does despite being a Haman user. In part two, Lisa Lisa looked quite young. So why isn't Joseph the same way? Mmm. and had been learning Haman since childhood. Right. After the death of her husband, she secluded herself and did nothing but train in the following years. Joseph, on the other hand, only trained in Haman because he had to. And has He's right. He's right. 100% right. actually not a very good example to make this argument. Mmm. part three, while Lisa Lisa was 50 in part 50. Two, a better example would be Strezo, who at 75 years old and even look old as hell. Still yeah, look older as old as hell. hell. Yep. Back in part one, Dio was shown to have created chimera creatures that he kept around his mansion. Mm. People asked why he never made more of these after he returned. The first answer is that he simply didn't like them and only really made them to test the limit of his abilities. Mm. However, what I think people are missing is that Dio essentially did use this ability again when he grafted his own head onto Jonathan's body. Mm. During the first appearance of Kakuin, he is seen using a painting while he attacks Jotaro. Right. He over Jotaro's leg and Jotaro is attacked from the same spot. So right. Asked why he never used this painting. Yeah, I was like... He did do that, but I think somebody in the comments said it was just something. Right, right. Mm. Right, right. I think I remember somebody in my comments said that. So thank you for that. Yeah, my God, that poor nurse. But the ability is shown to be unrelated. This further supports that the canvas itself is unrelated to his stand. Both the canvas and the puppet are just being used for show. Okay. However, Kakuin's possession abilities are tied to another common question. She poked this man eye out. Mm. That shit was crazy. Well, there are multiple reasons for this. Kakuin is being manipulated by Dio and would never mm. harm innocent people on his own. Right. He does still use Hierophant Green to enter people, as seen at the end of the Death 13 fight, and when he saves a little girl from being attacked. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so good. Would benefit in any way from using possession. Mm. First of all, stand users can see his stand, which would make them very difficult to possess. Right. The Tower of Grey was too small and fast, so once he caught it, he tore it apart instead. Mm. Horse and Jay Guile were too far away, and he wanted to let Polyra be the one to kill Jay Guile anyway. Possessing Steely Dan himself would solve nothing about the stand in Joseph's brain, and it would just harm Joseph if he attempted it. The younger Darby would be able to see himself being attacked. Yo, he's very knowledgeable. What the fuck? Cheating ...and cause Kakuin to instantly have his soul taken. And lastly, Dio, where the entire premise of the fight was that Kakuin needed to stay a safe distance away from him. One which I find somewhat annoying is the often repeated line, no one can just deflect the Emerald Splash. Mm. A lot of Rocky Forgot moments, this one started as a joke. Mm -hmm. I've seen it lumped in with other inconsistencies as if this is somehow one of them. Right. It's really no different from any other villain character being surprised that their attack doesn't work. This line is also from the dub, which makes it a little bit more inaccurate compared to the original line. Okay. In parts one and two, the battles focused mostly on common abilities. Mm. In part three, there was a shift towards stands. Some people wonder why a change like this was made and why Joseph didn't teach common to the other characters. I mean, they had stands. They didn't need it, right? 
The group had 50 days until Holly died, and they ended up killing Dio on the last possible day. Yep. It is simply not efficient to stop and try to learn Haman or to teach it half assed along the way. And I'm like, I don't think I don't think Joseph would have been a good teacher anyways. And Holly has caused her to become ill since she is not strong enough to control it. Some people have asked how Holly is not able to control her stand when children, infants and I'm like she doesn't fight. Other peaceful people like Tonio or Aya can. Right. I think this stems from a misunderstanding about how stands work. Mm. The stand is not necessarily based on a fighting spirit and more like a strength of spirit. Okay. First of all, people like Tonio and Aya manifested their stands through mastery of a craft. Since they became so skilled with a certain task, a stand formed which fit their skills. Who are these people? This is different from a forced awakening through something like the arrow or the Joestar curse. The Joestar stands were awakened because of the distress signal sent from Jonathan's body. This right. This gave them very powerful stands capable of locating and finding Dio. Mm -hmm. She's a peaceful person. She is not suited for this kind of stand. Holly is also not the only person shown in JoJo who had a partial stand awakening, as the user of Cheap Trick in Part 4 was still able to attain a stand, but was unable to control it. Don't know who this is. In Part 3, stand names were based on tarot cards. Okay. Before leaving, the group draws the cards to choose the names of their stands. Enya also used the cards to name the stands of Dio's minions. So why didn't they ever draw the same cards? In a series where fate has repeatedly been shown to be real, and where fortune tellers make multiple appearances in which they are always accurate, I really don't see how people get hung up on this. They didn't draw the same cards because they're tarot cards, and it was fated to happen that way. It's mm -hmm. really that simple. Right after the group leaves for Egypt, Dio is shown using his own version of Hermit Purple to spy on them. Right. A lot of people seem to think this is an abandoned idea where Dio would have had the power of every stand. Mm -hmm. that, is nothing but a fan that would be fucking crazy. I mean, he has time stop. Would he really need something else? Come on. In actuality, this Hermit Purple is the stand of Jonathan's body, as confirmed by Iraqi himself in the stand dictionary from the Jojo Agogo art book. Many people refer to this stand as the passion, but this is mm. the passion is Jonathan's stand in the non-canon spin-off novel George Joestar. George Joestar. Completely differently from this stand. Wow. The official name for this stand is simply Jonathan's stand. To talk more about this stand, some people have asked why Dio was able to track the movements of the group so easily, and this mm. is the reason. This is also the reason Dio was able to manipulate the message Joseph read on the TV. Mm -hmm. The characters Kakuin and Polnareff were both being shown controlled by flesh buds placed by Dio. They became allies after Jotaro removed their flesh buds. Right. Some people have asked why Jotaro didn't recruit any more people using this method. Many um. Many were shown to be following Dio for reasons other than mind control. Right. Many of them were seduced by him, which Dio has an extreme tendency for. Mm -hmm. Others talk openly about being paid by him. Yep. Most of them are just plain evil. And there are even people like Whole Horse who is clearly not being mind controlled since he often considers. I mean, he was just in it. He was in it for the money, the to be honest. And users were able or willing to be converted to the Crusader side. In the flashback introducing Jay Guile, he is briefly shown using a shield that protects himself from the rain. I'm surprised people still bring this up since I really haven't seen anyone talking about it since before the part three anime aired. Right. This is really as simple as having hanged man That's crazy. reflections on the raindrops to prevent them from hitting him. During the dark blue moon fight, the runaway girl character, later known in the anime as Anne, is introduced. She mm -hmm. stays with the group for a short time and rejoins them again before later being sent home. The argument for whether Araki forgot her is really the same as Poco in the last video. She's just Y'all remember Poco? In the dark blue moon My boy Poco. That's an the MVP the right there. Ability. why this ability is not used in more situations and some even bring up examples from other parts i'll cover the examples for other parts in those videos when i get to them however there is some word from iraqi as to why this ability didn't return mm -hmm. he said as the fights intensified its frequency of use decreased this would imply at least to me that the ability is not very powerful in the first place Jotaro has only ever used it as a last resort when he is I mean it was nice. Well I mean when he used it it was nice for what it was worth. Starfinger in my part 4 and part 6 videos. As for within part 3, the idea that random abilities not constantly coming back means that Araki forgot them is just asinine to me. 
<laughs> Asinine. Polnareff is blinded and trapped underneath the bed. Yep. Unable to see where to attack with his stand. Yep. I remember that fight very well. Seemingly able to see with his stand inside Joseph during the lovers' fight. Forgotten is that Joseph was showing Kakuin and Polnareff what was happening on the TV with Herbert Purple. When Rubber Soul is disguised as Kakuin, he's right. He is shown using he's right. Green to attack every every like every every question that I have, he's answering. I'm like every time I'm thinking about it, he's like, oh, this is why is you know. I'm like, pretty good. Others ask how nobody saw this attack happening since Yellow Temperance is a visible stand. Mm -hmm. Only Tiger Foot Green is shown traveling low along the ground while the others right. have their back turned. Right. During the fight against Steely Dan, Kakuin and Polnareff are shown shrinking their stands to go inside of Joseph's body. Shrinking your stand takes intense concentration to do, and mm. leaves you completely defenseless. Your stand's power also decreases the smaller it becomes. A lot of Makes people sense. think this would have been useful again, but I really see no other opportunities where a stand user could just stand around without being attacked. Mm -hmm. Shrinking their stand for whatever reason. I get that. This kind of ability is really only useful against a microscopic stand like lovers. Mm. The next fight is against a stand that takes the form of a sun. The sun. Some people the worst. Video, the worst the stand in the show. I swear to God. Is the sun of vampires' weakness. This is because this is not really a sun. Vampires and JoJo are weak to a specific wavelength of energy. This sun stand would have as much effect on Dio as any other light source, like right. the Red Spire, a flashlight, or the lit lamp he gladly keeps inside of his mansion. Right. Even if this stand did function like the actual sun, Dio has been shown to be perfectly capable of convincing people to join him with his supernatural charisma. During the fight with Alessi, Fair. he loses one of his earrings. In the following arcs, he is seen with the earring back. The only reason D didn't I ask that? I said, how do you get his earring back? It's replaced like any other damaged article of clothing the characters have. Even Polnareff loses the earring multiple times. God damn it. The final arc, I thought she gave it back. Earring back until after they defeated Dio. Against Darby, Joseph enters a bet that involves dropping coins into a glass. This was fucking hilarious. Y'all remember this shit. Multiple people asking why he didn't use Haman to keep the liquid inside the glass. That would have been cheating. Very easy answer. Everyone, including non-Haman users, can see Haman. Mm -hmm. Seen even all the way back with Smokey in part two, who describes mm -hmm. Joseph glowing. Darby would see this happening and instantly know Joseph was cheating, which would result in his soul being taken. Because yep. of this, Joseph used a more discreet cheating method. Iggy Stan the Fool uses a sand replica of Dio to fool Vanilla Ice. Yep. There are a couple different questions surrounding this. The first is how Iggy would know what Dio looks like. When the group's entire goal is locating and defeating Dio and they carry a picture of him around, I don't see why they wouldn't have shown Iggy this picture to let him know that once Dio is exactly dead, let him go home. Exactly. The question is how the voice was replicated. People seem to forget that Polnareff is there as well, and that he has met and heard Dio before. Silver Chariot is shown to have an ability to remove his armor. Well, I mean, in a sense, but as with other stand abilities, people ask I don't think Dio could. I don't think Polnareff could imitate the voice. That's something to think about. Mm -hmm. Such as when he lost part of his leg, which was after the sand he had thrown to track his movement had gone away. Mm -hmm. Dio makes his return in part three, now with the time-stopping abilities of the world. However, he is no longer seen using some so, of the so broken. freezing and space for stingy eyes. Dio makes it very clear that Jonathan's body is rejecting him and limiting his vampiric abilities. Mm. Even if he does have access to these abilities, he has little opportunity to use them. Freezing only works on direct contact, and would not work through stands since there is no moisture. And considering that Dio's main goal is okay. to get more Joestar blood to strengthen his time stop, I right. think that the last thing he'd want to do is expel his bodily fluids in a last-ditch move like Space Ripper Stingy Eyes. Right. Lastly, Dio has become so confident in the world and improving its time stop... Cocky, you mean. Not confident. Abilities. Before Dio gets in the car with the senator, he has a brief line acknowledging how long he has been alive. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, people take this line as him saying he had never seen a car before when he had been shown to travel to America before in part six. This is another minor point people blow out of proportion, since it's just a small line to remind people of Dio's age. Clearly within I see, I see spoilers. I'm not paying attention to this. 
while Jotaro is fighting Dio, the two of them appear to fly through the air. Right. Actually, this is them jumping and propelling themselves with their stands. An unfortunate side effect of the anime adaptation is the conversion of normally fast-paced scenes into much slower ones to include the details from each page. Right. Their time in the air is prolonged because of their clashing and the time stops freezing Jotaro. But Jotaro is clearly not flying freely since he is seen using his stand to redirect his momentum. Mm, I did see that. I did, I did think they were kind of flying. Right. Jotaro was gifted a stand capable of defeating Dio from the Joestar curse. Not entirely dissimilar to how Jonathan's body and Joseph were given similar stands. Right. The explanation for why Jotaro had to develop his time stop is the same with Dio's Hermit Purple. Mm -hmm. Dio has had a year to strengthen it, while Jotaro is just starting to learn it and is finally pushed hard enough to use it outright during the final battle. Yep. Jotaro tested whether or not he could move within time stop using the magnet trick. Since the magnet was connected to Dio, it was not stopped in time, similar to anything else Dio holds. Mm. Because of this, it would attract Jotaro's magnet, and if he is able to feel this, he would know that he is capable of moving within stop time. Oh. Platinum's ability is super speed and reflexes. You know, I didn't think about that. I thought he was just playing a trick on him. Wow, very interesting. Some also seem to imply that this ability wasn't planned and came out of nowhere. When it has been documented that the world and Star Platinum were the first two stands Araki created when planning Part Three. Oh wow! The final thing I'll be covering is Joseph's revival. Mm -hmm. We'll play into another moment in the next video, so I won't go into too much detail. Okay, Joseph thank God. You better not. There's too much spoilers in this shit. Dio. By doing a blood transfusion with Dio's body and jumpstarting the heart, Jotaro was able to resuscitate him. There are a couple things to go over with this. Right. The first point is that since Joseph received blood from Dio's body, shouldn't he become a vampire? Mm. If Isaac revived Dio's blood and became one, why is Joseph any different? Mm-hmm. Well, Tell me. A lot of the blood Joseph got back was really just his own blood that Dio had taken only four minutes earlier. Right. Even if Joseph was to get some of Dio's blood inside of him, that would be little trouble for a Haman user. Jonathan was shown to be able to expel vampires from his body. Eliminating Dio's cells from within his own Okay, body, very correct. A bit of Haman. This is supported by Strezo, whose vampire cells were destroyed by his own Haman. Mm -hmm. Second, some people question whether Joseph should be able to be revived to begin with. I mean, he did get his neck cut. The little time he really spent without blood, which was four minutes. Even in real life, people have been revived from apparent death after longer periods than that. Others also bring up that Joseph's soul left his body. He did. A lot of people overlook is Jotaro questioning if he's seeing things in that scene, but I'll ignore that. Mm. People have gotten very caught up in the specifics behind souls leaving bodies and when someone is really considered dead in JoJo. At the end of the day, like most things in JoJo, it comes down to fate. Joseph Joestar is a character shown to have a supernatural tendency for cheating death, and this is no different. And that was every Iraqi You're not wrong. Part three. This may turn out to be the longest Oh, that's it? Series, what the fuck? The sheer amount of things there was to talk about. However, there are still some big ones to talk about, especially in the next part, which is one of the main reasons I decided to make this I don't series. I don't think I should read that. Bunking of Rocky Forgot in part 4. Please consider joining the Hum and Beat Discord server where I will be posting updates on upcoming videos. Oh, well, I I guess I guess that's it. Uh 20 22 minutes long. Um Honestly, that that was actually a lot of a lot of information jam packed into that. To be completely honest, like I, I mean, a few of those things I thought about, and a few of those things I never thought people would be thinking about, like down to the you know the deal in the coffin. I never really kind of questioned that. Like I knew he was in the coffin, but I knew Erina was in the coffin prior to that, so that's weird. Or the Starfinger thing, why he didn't use that. I mean, it was cool for what it was, but if he used it in another episode, which I feel like he, I feel like he did. No, I feel like he extended his finger in some other episode. So very interesting. What else do we have? Um, damn, I think that's that's really just about it. It, 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 it was it was pretty jam packed. Um, the one thing I didn't understand. Um, I think it's the last thing I'm going to talk about before we end this clip. When Joseph died, so the whole blood transfusion thing. If you notice, Joseph literally got killed by that knife. Dio literally killed that man. 
so what what are you so what are you saying like just because he gave the blood back he didn't have that hole in his throat was it Dio's blood that healed the wound in his neck so you, you guys get what I mean because after he got the blood he got back up but then you guys forget yeah y'all remember y'all remember that clip y'all remember, remember that everybody remember that so it's like the man the man died how did he come back to life like when you when you think about it now you're like uh, i don't i don't know so maybe you guys could leave in the comments below what exactly happened did dio's blood heal him is that is that how that worked i don't know i don't know, I don't know. but it, it was a good debunk in iraq you forgot it was a lot of things that i didn't know a lot of things that i actually got clarity on it phenomenal but you guys know what time it is by the time you guys are seeing this part four will be on the way so i thank you guys for watching this with me i think you guys for staying with me on this jojo journey like i said last time Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys enjoyed your reaction today, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social journey, and Discord into the post notification bell. I will see you guys part four, episode one. Money, 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 money.